so grateful that we serve a good God. And I bet you in these 22 days of this month that some of us have messed up already. Some of us have went through some doors we had no business going into. But our God is faithful. Our God continues to take care of us when we don't have sense enough to take care of ourselves. But the greatest thing about my God, I, I love about him, is that he affords us this time of conversation. That's all prayer is, it's just, it's a conversation that we're having with someone that we know who loves us. It's different picking up the phone and calling somebody who uh, we don't know if they're going to even care about what's going on in our lives. But when we go to our God, we know that he's concerned. And he invited us to bring all our cares to him. This is a part in our program we set aside for corporate prayer. And why I pray out loud, it's my hope that in your hearts that you are praying also. And if you don't have anything to pray about, look to your right or, or to your left. And if there's somebody sitting next to you, pray for them. Because I'm sure they need something in their lives that needs to be worked out. I know I need some things in my life work now. And not knowing that one person can work it out. So it's what humble hearts this morning that we're going to pray. Heads are bowed. And eyes are closed. Father, I stretch my hands to thee. No other help I know. If thou would prove thyself for me, I don't know where I would go. God, we're grateful that you gave us all this invitation to cast our cares on you. Because we know you care about us. I could stand here all morning and just say these two words. Thank you. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you for taking care of me better than I can take care of myself. Thank you, God, because when I got myself in the worst things, you didn't forget about me. Thank you, God, that when I made a wrong turn, you were standing right in my way and directed me to go the other way. Thank you for providing for me the things that I can't provide for myself. And yet when I think your blessings has a seal and you prove to me that your blessings are immeasurable in my life. Thank you, God, for the collection of your people found in this place this morning. I don't know what's standing on their hearts this morning, dear God, but I know that you know. And you can make all things better in our lives. So help us along this way, dear God, is our prayer. Push us when we seem to get dormant and, and stagnant, dear God, standing in one place. But when we fall, dear God, it is our prayer that you pick us up out of the miry clay. Place our feet on a solid foundation. 
and establish our goals. Right now, God, I pray that you bless your servant that's going to stand behind this sacred desk. If this world needs nothing else, this world needs a word from you. Let him down in the deep treasures of your word this morning. Let his word unveil things to us, dear God, that you would have us to hear for this moment where we are in our lives. We thank you, God, for your blessings. We thank you for your mercy, God. We thank you for your grace because all of those things sustains us. We thank you for your example that you gave us in your darling son, Jesus. You gave him your love so he can teach us how to love. In your way of forgiving us, dear God, allow us to see the perfect example of how to forgive others. Thank you, dear God, that no matter what it is that we find ourselves in, You've proven to us time and time again that you're always there with us, dear God. The three Hebrew boys find themselves in the fiery furnace. And no matter what did the king want them to endure, you were there with them, dear God. And you saved them. So on this morning, dear God, we're asking you to stand in our fiery furnace with us also. Protect us from what the world is trying to do to us. And keep us safe from any hurt, harm, and danger. Now I heard of a place where the wicked would cease from trouble and the weary will be at rest. Th there's another world that we're going to experience one day that's so much better than this world where we're living right now. No more goodbyes in that world. Only smiles on our faces when we get there. if we have this faith the size of a mustard seed. We know that's enough to please you, oh God. So help us is our prayer. Because when that day comes and you open up the good book of life and you stroll to the page that our names are on, when you get to my name, And you call me by my name. I pray I've done enough, dear God, on this side to hear you say the word, servant of God, well done. I pray this prayer in the mighty and the matchless and the marvelous name that's above all other names. It's in your daughter's son Jesus' name we pray and give thanks.